Hey dudes and chicks and neither of those rules don't apply to you. Welcome to Rick for Last Time. My name is Katie. Today I'm going to be popping this palette's cherry. It's the Notoriously Morbid um, Eclipse of Sun palette and the color story looks like this. It is fucking breathtaking. I am not shitting you. Like, I literally opened this and gasped when I was in the post office. So, anyways, I talk more about it as I get into the video. If you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look or hearing my final thoughts on this palette or if you guys just like to watch. Sorry, I lost my voice. I am just getting on the tail end of a really bad sickness. And honestly, you know what? I just want to fucking swatch some of these for you guys before I move on because I literally, they're just, it's just too much. This is Amaterasu. Oh my God, look at that. It's so fucking beautiful. What the fuck? Ooh. Look at that. Can you guys see that? Oh, there we go. And then, what are some other ones I wanted to show you guys? Oh. This is Ikai. totally foily and I also like I guess I want to show you these these three these other three this is Sarita oh my god I should have used this color look at that there you can really yeah you can see the shift for sure and then this is matcha like M-A-C-H-A, -A, not like matcha tea. <laughs> oh my god, look at this one. <gasps> what the fuck? Oh my god, this is like a pink to teal. It is so fucking cute, and I know you guys can see it perfectly. Wow. These are really visible, like shifting. Maybe I'm not as bad, maybe I should stick to swatching on my fingers the way or on my hands the way I like to do it and then this one too is Marisi and it is green wait let me get you there all you can see is the shift let me get you to where it looks green there's the green and there's the pink right there it's like a, a dirty, pukey, poopy green. Like, you can see it right here. Poopy green. Oh, no, you can't. It looks pink. Quit it. Cut it out. There you go. Green. Pink. Crazy. So, anyways, if you guys are interested in seeing how I did, how I used this palette, what I did with it, um, obviously it is a palette with only two mattes, and so I actually have been liking that this last like about about year. Ever since I got those Adapt Cosmetics palettes, I have been liking palettes with one matte, just because I don't know, just it's just something different for me, and um, and just like sticking to it, like not using, not adding any dimension or whatever, just like sticking to it. Obviously, this look turned out really fucking good and it with no dimension whatsoever um so anyways if you guys are interested in seeing how these fuckers perform on my eyes then just hang out Okay, my, uh, hold please. <laughs> my P. Louise Primer in Romero 2 is already on. I haven't filmed for a while. I've been sicker than fuck. If you guys can hear it in my voice, you're not hallucinating. It's the, that's real shit. I have been actually like in the last like year-ish loving these palettes that have like two 
mattes and the rest shimmers. And so I'm actually just going to do something really simple and I'm going to see what happens because I want to see if I can just build that. I'm going to use the color Senna and I'm going to see if it just builds in the crease with my Wayne Goss number 17 and I'm just going to kind of fuck with it and see how it goes. I'm just going to because this is going to work. I'm sure of it. Oh yeah. I've been sick for literally since last, not last Sunday, but the Sunday before. <laughs> it's crazy. I literally never get sick. Like, I'm just kind of dragging ass a little bit. I went camping this weekend, so that's the reason why these are so late is because I had Memorial Day weekend plans. I just couldn't get everything done. I was sick for, really sick for like three or four days and then just kind of so I'm just going to kind of blend this into the inner corner, but just barely, because I'm going to do some, like, fairy shit. I think. Because I don't even know if it's going to work. I'm going to try to do a technique that I've never really tried before. <laughs> so... Yeah, we'll just have to see. So far, so good. It's blending, obviously, like this. I'm using a bigger brush. And so that always makes it a little bit easier to blend. And then also, I'm not using any other colors. So, but I am using my P. Louise primer. So that's always, not always, but sometimes I feel like P. Louise primer can make things a little more difficult than other primers as far as blend, blending goes. It's just real, it's super sticky, I feel like, and so you get like really good payoff, but sometimes it makes things a little bit harder to blend. So I'm just gonna kind of get this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just use this, is my Made by Mitchell ME4, and this brush actually is like, I found it very useful for using shimmer in a way that like leaves a light wash rather than like, uh, metallic and foiled with a stark line. So I'm just gonna put a little tiny bit on here, like that, and I'm just gonna kinda tap this on my lid and maybe just above. And then I don't even know exactly, okay, what am I gonna do? Because these colors are fucking beautiful, man. I'm gonna use the color Bridged, and I'm just using the backside of that Oh, my word. Oh, it's beautiful. Honestly, I probably should have used a different technique, but I just really wanted to do this. And then I'm going to go into this color, Ikai. Wait, what color did I say? Oh, and I'm using the gluey side of this, and I'm just going to go right here, and I'm going to pull this up. You see what I mean? Like I kind of just like took the whole thingy poo. <laughs> and then I'll go back in with the other side and maybe kind of just, oh my gosh. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back in with my Wayne Goss number 17 and I'm going to start packing this and maybe just kind of I don't know what came over me to pull that shimmer all the way up, but I like it. I really like that. This palette is so special. I opened it up when I pulled it. I like literally opened it at the post office. I didn't even fuck around. I actually like walked up. I, I like ripped everything open. Like there wasn't any recycling at the post office, so I actually took the box with me, but I literally opened it and threw all the packaging and everything away right there so that I could see it right away. It was like, it was breathtaking. It actually made me gasp. What can I do that's like more like what I normally do? Just so that you guys can get a good, I'm gonna use my Alter Ego number seven and I'm gonna go into the color Tapiti. Man, I wish I knew these words, like what they meant. And I'm just going to put this on the... Oh my gosh. Yeah, these are beautiful. 
this is a good time. I'm going to use the other side of that and I'm going to go back into that color that I used in my inner corner just because I, I want to give this better. Yeah. And then. Pretty. I'm going into this color right here, Eos. Just because I want to see, I just want to check it out. Mm. I just put that on the high point. These shadows are so fucking shifty, it's crazy. Okay, so there's also some toppers, so I'm going to go finish the rest of my face, and I'm going to come back when I'm done and put on a lip topper, and um, yeah, so I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I'm going to use, I, I use the color, I use the color Weeping Veil uh, as my lipstick by Notoriously Morbid, and now I'm going to use the color Paulo. Um, it's kind of a yellow uh, shift to pink, and so I just thought it would look a little different. I mean, this was the pretty, the, like, these were the on the nose. There's one that, like, shifts, like, pinky purple, which obviously would be the obvious choice. And then this one's more, like, bluey, and it's got some red, like, red giant, Terra Moon's red giant shift in it. It's really fucking pretty. Honestly, this is probably my favorite one. It's super shifty and really unique, and it's got that red red oh there you can see it right there that red flick in it but i just want to do this yellow gold one just because i think it would look a little weird yeah. oh yeah i love this this seems to have that like a, a red I feel like the doe foot doesn't get enough product on it. But let's just see what happens when it dries. Because obviously like when it gets wet, it gets on top of the product and then the product starts breaking up. Like so it would be it would be nice if you could get like a a bunch of the product on right away. But honestly, I mean, what do I know? Like I don't even know actually how this is supposed to look or maybe I should read the fucking instructions. These are all new lip products for this adds a very subtle initial shimmer to both bare lips and over other shades. Shimmer can be built up with layers with proper drying time between applications. Okay, so that's where I fucked up. I didn't let it dry. Oh, yeah, that's what I thought. It's like a glitter flip. So, like, once it dries, which I just need to be a little bit patient. Mm-hmm. And you actually can use these by themselves. I should have read that first because I fucking would have. I used my Unearthly Cosmetics blush in hazy and my Unearthly Cosmetics low light in synthwave. And then my Urban Decay 24-7 gel liner in Woodstock. And then I used my Rouge and Rogue eye wigs in Slayer. I'm so sorry that this video was like so low energy. I'm really just like still like today's the first day that I actually like yesterday my I wanted to film yesterday but my voice was so bad that I actually couldn't do it. Like yesterday my voice was like the worst that it's been so far. So I just appreciate you guys' patience and if this video is like I'm, I want it, I hope that I did this justice. I love this. Oh, you know what else? This is what I was going to tell you is I went in with this little tiny baby brush because you guys know if I do a 10 minute look that's like literally not satisfying to me at all. I have to do at least more than 10 minutes. And so what I did was I went back in and I took this color, Amaterasu, Amaterasu, and I put that over the highest point of my lid and then I used Hathor in my inner corner. And honestly, I actually fell in love with these two colors. Even though they're super nudie for me, they look sort of just like magical a little bit. They like give like such a like a rosy, like a rose golden 
mystical golden style shift that I just like fell in love with it and honestly like I love the way I took every single fucking shimmer and just like blended it together because I feel like it has this like ethereal look that's like super airy and I don't know like it looks like magical mist or something so anyways I just can't I couldn't stop at 10 minutes a 10 minute look just doesn't do it for me so a 10 minute look does it for a lot of you though and so if you guys are looking for an amazing fucking all of these shifts are duochromy literally like every single one of them and they're all super shiny and beautiful if you guys are looking for a one and done definitely check this out. They're still on sale. I'm pretty sure they're $44.99 and pre-order, they're not on pre-order yet, so they have not sold out yet. So you can use my discount, Lost15, I'm pretty sure. It's in the description box. If you use Lost15, that'll save you 15%. And um, you can get the toppers as well, which are super cute. I feel like I did not use this correctly, but I really want more and I fucking, I wish I would have went in with nothing. I'm gonna use my Voldemort VM506 and I'm gonna put a bunch of this on the back of my hand because I just wanna pat it on with like enough product for my liking. Hmm, that's cute. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's super cute. I am having a little bit of a problem getting this over the top of a um, matte dry a lipstick that dries down. So I'm sure I wouldn't have the same problem with an oil-based lipstick that didn't dry down. That's the other thing. So I, you guys need to know. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell because you can't wait to see what happens next. Next. <laughs> Hit the like button if you like this look or if you just like my sparkling personality my boyish charm and hang out with me in the comments because I fucking love it. You can go check me out on Instagram at Makeup for Last Time. I know you guys did not probably get offended by the verbiage in this video because I was like, thanks for noticing me, <laughs> which is basically what my outro should be today. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. You could have been anywhere, but you were here wasting your time with me and I totally appreciate you. Later.